In this video, I'll show you how to connect your HP Smart Tank 5000 to your phone, could be Android or iPhone. So let's get started right away. The first step is to make sure that your printer is in pairing mode. And how do you do this? Well, if you go over here and take a look at the control panel, if you have the Wi-Fi button over here blinking blue, it simply means that it, it is in pairing mode. If the, bl uh, the blue light over here is not blinking, or maybe there is no light at all, what you need to do to put the printer in Wi-Fi pairing mode, Wi-Fi setup mode, is first of all to keep press this I button. Okay, keep it press until the whole control panel is lit up. And then you're going to press the Wi-Fi button and the X button both for three seconds. Two, three, and then lift. As you see now, the Wi-Fi button is blinking blue. Next, you're going to go on the Google Play Store or if you are on an iPhone like I do over here, you're going to go in the App Store and search for the HP app. It simply says HP. Before that, you needed the HP Smart App, but HP updated themselves and now it's only called HP. So download the app and open it. Next, we're going to press Accept All. If you want to use uh, the features that I'll show you next, you need to be signed in into your HP account, which is, by the way, totally free. And yeah, it takes only a few seconds to create. I'll click over here on Sign In. And all I have to do now is to sign in. If you don't have an account yet, click on Create Account. Then you should be on the home menu of this app. It should look like this. You simply have to click on add device. Then select set up a new printer. It will search for all the printers that are located around your phone that are connected to the same Wi-Fi network as your phone. Then select set up once you see your printer appearing, Smart Tank 5100 series. Enter the password of your Wi-Fi. So you're going to get the Wi-Fi network name right over here. And if it's not the right Wi-Fi network name, simply select change network and choose your Wi-Fi network instead. So I'll go ahead and type my password, press done. And now the printer will connect to the internet. It will ask you to press the I button once you see this on the display. So simply go over here on your printer and click once on the I button and the setup will continue on your smartphone. Press continue. Press continue. Here you're not obligated to accept all the printer privacy settings. You can click on accept or all or decline optional data, which I will do. On the next screen, you can select auto update if you want your printer to update automatically or notify when available. This way it will not update every time. It will ask you if you want or not. It's up to you. I'll select notify when available and press save. Now they'll ask you if you want to print a page just to see that everything is working. I'll show you in just a few seconds how to print your own page instead of the one that they're showing over here. So I'll select skip printing page. And now I'll press continue. And here we go. We are back on the main screen of the app. At this point, let me show you how to print and also how to scan and get the results on your phone. So every time you want to print, you simply have to tap on your printer in the app get down and select print documents or print photos, depending what you intend to do. I'll print a document, so I'll press on print documents. And now it's time to search for whatever you wanna print. So you can go on uh, different apps where the document may be located, or you can also search for the files that are inside of your smartphone. So I'll click on all files. Next step after your document is showing on your display after you tapped on it. Select Print Preview, the first option down below. And now before printing, we can change a few things depending again what you're trying to print. To see more options, you can tap on this small line over here. 
okay and now you have the printer name this you should not change it obviously it's the right one then you have paper by clicking over here you can select which size is your paper the number of copies the print quality if you're printing a picture I always recommend that you select best instead of normal if you're printing a PDF file with some text and some small graphics you can leave it to normal and then finally you have color options if you want to print in black and white or in color at the end simply press the print button and it will start printing don't forget to extend the output tray if it's not already done And here we go, we got the result out. Now let me show you how to scan. So on the app itself, let me select not now, we'll go back on the main menu screen. So I'll press done over here. And instead of selecting print document, I'll go up and select scan. Now it's time to insert the document. So open the scan lid, take your document that you want to scan, place it facing down with the top part of your document towards the left side. And now all we have to do, you see over here on this corner, there is some kind of a corner arrow, I don't know how you want to call it. You simply have to glide the paper until the paper corner touches the corner of the scanner that is this one over here, the top left one then close the lid now you can go ahead and click the scan button but there's also a few options I would like to talk about if you click on the top here where you see enter scan area normal whatever tap on this and you have a few different options so you have page size you can leave it the way it is entire scan area that's not important but over here where it says quality by default it will be 200 dpi click on it and if you're scanning a text document 200 is enough but if you're going to scan some pictures or anything that you want a bit more details I suggest you go ahead and select 300 dpi if you are on a desktop or a laptop a computer Mac or PC you'll have more options so more dpi but on the phone 300 is the max Go back and you can also select if you want the scan to be in color or black and white. If we go back, I'll go ahead and select scan. We're going to get a preview over here on the display. And this preview is not saved on your phone yet. You'll be able to change the borders. You see, I can edit them simply by dragging these corners. Press next. And now you have a few different options. For example, if you have a document with multiple pages you like to combine in one uh, PDF document, go ahead and insert the next page over there and click the Add button right over here. You'll be able to add multiple pages to your scan. You can also rotate, extract some text, or even scribble. So if you want to do an annotation, like circling certain things, by clicking scribble you'll be able to edit over the scan at the end we have these options down below the first one is to print whatever you have just scanned and after that we have share and save by clicking here you'll be able to share it on your favorite social media apps or save it in the internal memory of your device if you're not happy with the scan and you just want to restart by clicking the three dots You'll be able to select delete and yeah it will simply go away but it's very important to click the share save button if you're intending to uh, save whatever is on the screen so this is it thanks for watching i hope my tutorial was helpful if so please leave a like comment down below also subscribe and i'll see you in the next video